that you pregame and then go out. That's exactly right. I get drunk before I got there. Frank, all all your time up there in the northeast, have you ever uh, did the Times Square thing for New Year's? Yes, I was just talking about that yesterday. I was looking at all those idiots out there. My daughter goes, you know those disgusting people wear pampers? I'm like, there's nowhere to go to the bathroom. It's like the worst place in the world. I think I was like 18 and we were a bunch of us. We were getting ready. We went to Times Square. We hung out till midnight, ball drop. It was misery. It was so cold. And then we went clubbing and got home in the next afternoon. And you had more fun after you went clubbing. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing I remember. That's what she said. Yeah, late night parties in the city, man, were awesome. But you got to be out of your mind, Art, to go out there. I, I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, it's, um, I can't imagine, man. Millions, right? All just packed in like sardines. Yeah, but when I tell you, there's literally no way to go to the bathroom there. There's like nothing open. There might be a couple food spots here and there, but they won't let you in unless you're going to buy something, you know, and then, then you lose your place, you can't get back in line, so you can't really, like, into your little, they ca- they quarantine you like cattle into these little sections. It's just, honestly, I really don't know why people do it. Because it makes them feel special. Yeah, screw that. I feel special here with you guys. You know, it's kind of like that scene from, uh, you know, the movie The Jerk with Steve Martin when he looks for the phone book and he finds his name in there and he goes, I am somebody. <laughs> that was a great movie. Oh, well, that is a classic. How far are you going? To the end of this fence? Can I have a ride? Yeah, sure. That's when he thought he was black. Yeah, that's the one. It's hilarious. Yeah, they kind of swept that one under the rug as far as, uh, you know, how they make a big deal about blackface. Oh, yeah. I mean, there was some great lines in that movie. I mean, really good ones. See, they've already tried that identity crap before and it didn't work. I mean, come on. I mean, his brother is the only one that got the, you know, sitting there reading the note from from him at the carnival about the uh, the chick that picks him up, you know, on the motorcycle and, and says, well, I'm not going to repeat it on the air, but uh, tomorrow I'll give you a <clears throat> job. And he thinks it's he thinks he's gonna have like one of the big time head jobs at the uh, at the circus. It's great. I like when he started getting his rhythm. Oh yeah, that was in the beginning when he's snapping his feet together. What's he say? I found my purpose. Is that what he says? That's what he said. <laughs> Amazing. Half the crap that we grew up on. Uh, it's not even acceptable to be on TV today. I know it's a joke, man. I mean that that kind of stuff there. I mean that was hilarious. Uh, Porky's was hilarious. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff that, I mean, by today's standards, they'd have a coronary. Oh, hold on. Can you imagine Eddie Murphy today in his prime uh, doing that that stick, you know, uh, Delirious and that red, uh, you know, that red jumpsuit back in the early 80s with Mr. T and Norton and, uh, you know, and everything else? Oh, my gosh. How about Archie Bunker? Yeah, I was just going to say Archie Bunker, man. That, that would have been, that's it. That was classic. Hell, this, the people today would have been upset with Sanford and Son. You know, we were all 
all getting along, man. Things were pretty good. I mean, uh, you know, that, that writer in Hollywood, I forgot his name, Norm or Norman something, you know, he had a bunch of shows about every subject you can imagine, right? The Jeffersons, Good Times, Sanford and Sons, Chico and the Man. I mean, what a, what a time, you know, uh, of course, All in the Family, you know, uh, and all those shows. It was just, we were all, you know, picking on each other. All right, take a minute and look at Rumble and listen to that. Okay. So what radio are you playing around with these days, Rick? Um, uh, Frank, I have the uh, I have the herpes light complex syndrome too. Oh, nice. How do you like it? I love it, man. It's a killer rig for five hundred bucks. Yeah, for the money, it's uh, you can't pay it. Now nah, I'm running it with a uh, one of the Australian VK amps. You know, uh, it's set up for low drive, so you know, two and a half, three watts, three and a half watts in KW, or a little more out. Looks pretty good, yeah. A lot of bang for your buck on that radio, man. You know, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, you, you kind of can't beat it. I think honestly, it's for for the value, it beats anything that's out there. Honestly, I, I'd say it beats some of the more expensive radios out there. Well, it does. I mean, you know, there's you got you got pure signal. You got you know, everything that you got in Thetis works on it. You know, with with the exception of diversity because it's a single ADAC and. You don't have six meters. You know, there's there's a few things that are lacking from it, but I mean, for five hundred dollars, uh, you really don't got much to complain about, and it certainly will put radios that are eighteen hundred, two thousand, twenty five hundred to shame. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, it's a, it's a good little rig, man. I mean, yeah, obviously it doesn't have all the filtering and everything else, but I mean, again, for five hundred bucks, you cannot beat that. I mean, it's got the filtering on, on transmit and receive with the filter board add on and it, um, you know, that's $52. But like I said, the only thing you're really missing is the diversity and, you know, having, having, um, two eight acts, it is only, like I said, a single and, and six meters, but that's, those three things are really, it's only downfall. What's the bandwidth on the pan adapter? Um, well, that's okay. So that's one other thing. It, it'll go to 38, uh, 38400 on the pan adapter view, but the, uh, and I know the Anons will go to uh, like, I don't know, three or four times that. Um, the problem with that is you can only run pure signal at 1900 or less. So, um, you know, you lose a little bit of the viewable bandwidth, but I mean, again, for the price, who cares? Yeah, I agree. You can't, yeah, it's not a comparison, obviously. I mean, from a price perspective, you know, you get a lot. Yeah, good. A lot of guys having success with it, man. It's gaining popularity like crazy. Almost everyone you talk to is on one. Yeah, I know. I keep telling people when I get on the air and, you know, and I talk about my herpes that I'm going to have to start wearing a condom on the air. <laughs> How was your holidays? It was good, bud. Uh, how about yours? Good. Can't complain, man. It was nice. Uh, spent it uh, one night with my girls, just me and my daughters. We we, we normally, uh, my family always has like big get togethers. Um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of a big deal for us Christmas Eve, more so than Christmas Day. Um, so I, I always have the kids Christmas Eve and my ex-wife always has the kids on Christmas Day. But, you know, for the first time ever, we sat in, just the three of us. We made, I made dinner for us. I, uh, I made a really beautiful dinner. We all enjoyed it. Watched TV. Hung out, watched movies. We actually really just got to enjoy each other, which is something we rarely we get to do. And, uh, it's cool. My kids have been hanging out with me, like, almost, you know, they, they call me every day, obviously. But my daughter just came over, stopped in, just wanted to hang out with me today. So, it's cool, you know. We, uh... Say, you know, they've been shooting with me and just having fun, man. It's, it's, it's great, so no complaints. Oh, good deal. I'm a good deal, man. Glad to hear that. And uh, if I don't catch you before then, because I probably won't, uh, you know, have a have a great upcoming uh, New Year's, uh, you and your family there too, Frank. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, you too. And uh, that goes for everyone. It's, uh, 
Another another wonderful year. Can't wait to see what the next year brings us. <laughs> Scott, where the hell have you been? You're quiet. Oh, I'm usually just in the background, but the last couple of weeks I haven't been on the air, been busy, and then I tore my antenna apart put, and to rebuild it, and what I did didn't work, so I had to put it all back together today. Did Art go down below us? No, no, I'm here. Who's below us that was running out at 8? Oh, somebody, you're saying somebody's AK? Or not 8, but uh, 4. They're, they're out a little bit more than 4 there. I'm sorry. Yeah, somebody on 95. I tried to lengthen my antenna there, Frank, and uh, last week, and it didn't work, so I had to put it back. But it is nothing worse, right? And wait until this time of the year, right? We, uh, we don't do it in the heat uh, or when it's nice and mild. We wait till winter. <laughs> I, said, I, I bought all this wire. I'm going to put my loop back up. I have a, a, this antenna, where it works, it works really, really well. And where it doesn't, it just doesn't work. There's so many lobes in this antenna that it's time to put the loop back up. So, But, you know... I got the wire there. I've been busy. And you know, it'll, it'll, I have to wait till snow is on the ground to start the project. It's working good here, Frank. You're putting it in the tree because, so, you know, for me, it's the leaves hide everything. So uh, I wouldn't be able to shoot my wire where I want to, my, like my pull string where I want to. So I just wait till the leaves are off. But uh, luckily this week, like the last couple of weeks, we had such good warm weather that it was easy to do. Now I can't say I was successful in what I was doing. I did lose, uh, what, three three shot balls in the the shot bags in the trees while I was trying to do all this crap, and uh, so I got to wait for the storms to bring them down for me. Frank, whatever you're using now is uh, is working. It's working well. You got a nice signal here. Pull them back down and and just uh, loop the antenna through, but it's tricky because of the layout. So things get stuck in trees, and you got to. I, I got to remember which antenna lines got to go up first before the other one. Otherwise, things get snagged at the. Major pain in the uh, PIA. Oh, yeah. Like, I had I had success getting the third thing up, but I just couldn't get the thing to tune, so I gave up and put it back. Whoever it is that for, I mean, their signal's out at four, but they do have some, some eh, it's not bad IMD, but it's it's definitely there. Yeah, I think he's got the TTBF thing going on the Yasu. Oh, okay. So I walk down there uh, behind my house. There's a, the school running track is back there. And it has a massive fence that just goes around all the way with, I don't know how many, it's got like only two brakes in it. And I got to be honest with you, I was looking at that, hmm. Run, digging a little cable in there, running it, and uh, probably only 100 feet of cable, and using it as a received diversity antenna on the ground. Imagine, it's got to be, I don't know, a, a half a mile long. You could latch onto the wire like as a chain link. If it's got a bottom runner like the whole like the bottom wire that number nine or whatever it is that runs along the bottom, you could certainly latch onto that and have a nice receiver antenna. That's what I was thinking. Watch doing that. Yeah. Well, that's the only other thing, right? It's a it's a magnet for static electricity and lightning and. Well, not so much that, Frank. The problem with it is. If in between posts where the where the where the fence runs, and there's a breaks in that stuff, um, beans it's not. I mean, it, it's just bolted together. You get that corrosion between it. That stuff will act like a damn diode, uh, and and you'll have so much noise on receive it'll be ridiculous. Uh, okay. Uh, it's actually interesting. I never really thought about that. Well. I've experienced it here, and and then I got to talking about it with a few other people, and they're like, "Yeah, basically what you done, you, you have uh, that's that's basically a diode, you know, it's a rectifier. It's uh, anything out there is going to come through it." Yeah, let me. Uh, yeah, 
Oh, I mean, listen, it's uh, it's only wire. I'll give it a whirl. See. I mean, it'd be nice to have a nice low to the ground antenna, right? You know, things only four feet in total height. Just give it a whirl. I'm going to see. Yeah, hey, whatever antenna you're using now, you. I mean, I think this is probably the best one of the best times I've heard you. Yeah, you know, for anything, it's only close by I have a problem, which is, is it's actually very telling, right? So anyone far away over, you know, a couple hundred miles, he has me great. It's the local guys. I used to hit 40 and 50 over. Now I'm like only 20 over. Not a big deal, but I guess you can't have, uh, you know, you can't have both ways, so. In 8 SDR. N4 QNT. KG4 WQQ. The A3 PSN. Hey Richard, how you liking that new chair? Man, I'm loving this chair. The Executive Series, I love it. So I'm going to post this video, I think, and because I hoping, here's a uh, really good example. Here tonight. I want to hear the uh, the new audio. Here's a really good example of guys running pure signal like we are here on so 3999. In the, in the making. And then the guys down below us Is at 3995 who are out at 4K yeah, that are not days. running pure signal, and you can see the trash of on IMD on coming yeah, up the band. If you button, look on your scene on here, when these guys are, are talking, talking like right them, now, you, know, you don't right, see anything so. past that uh, <laughs> 3999. If you do, it's 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 a very very slight little bit that might go yeah, thirty nine ninety nine dot there, maybe um, ten or twenty. It's like thirty okay. five over into that thing all the time, so it must be real close to a, you know in that area. And then he uh, lifts I mean, out look and at forwards it, I mean, he's clean. makes a change, clean. and then goes back out. He goes back and forth. Yeah, yeah, no, I figured that. I've done that before too. He might have just had to so get this guy. No one's on when Frank gets done here. Look at this guy. Look at this. See, this is what we mean by pure signal. This, there's a prime example. All right, I'm going to stop this video so I can send this link to Art, and I'm probably going to post this anyways. Well, guys, I'm going to pull the plug for this evening, and uh, everybody have a good evening. To talk to you, I have a great uh, new year coming, and uh, hopefully, uh, everything will be well for the new and upcoming year. So, uh, with that being said, uh, good evening, guys, and uh, have a nice night. K1 WIL, we're going to be here with you guys. likely catch you uh, sometime tomorrow, maybe in the morning. So uh, until then, 7-3 from N4QN. But uh, great catch.